excited to have in the studio one of our old friends from uh, from from a little ways back, John Sokol, from Moments, and uh, John, happy to have you here. I'm glad to be back again. I yeah, love coming. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's great to be up 7:20 in the morning. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, feels good. Feels good. Yeah, especially uh, a guy like John, who's you know <laughs> does a couple different things around uh, our area, and uh, just a couple. Yeah, just a few. yeah. 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 Sleeping aren't one of those things. No, no, no. no always no. moving. Uh, well, let's talk. We got we got it's exciting, and this is not the first time that Border Town Pub has done that price deal. Uh, second time, I this think. This is second time. And think, this, this will be fun. It will be. I think the big thing is now is our brewery's really grown. Mm-hmm. You know, when we did this the first time, uh, we had just opened up the brewery, and we weren't able to produce beer quite fast enough, which was, I guess, is a good thing and a bad yeah, thing. Right? People come in like, "Well, here, try our beer." <laughs> and I meant our beer. <laughs> yeah. You know, now we we always keep six beers on tap. Um, John is John is a great guy. Um, he he really gets the beers out. We've had a lot of great stuff, and we brew beer. Here's what I do: we brew beer that doesn't taste like beer. I guess we kind of brew beer for the common folks. We're not brewing those really far out. Crazy, wild, the real hoppy, yeah, the real hoppy kinda. stuff, yeah. right? Or things just, that you're like, wait, is this? Yeah. This doesn't taste quite right. You know, yeah. We, yeah. we, you know, we. John does. John, John Trudeau is my brewmaster. Yeah. He's a great you're guy. not speaking of yourself in third person. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> John is a great John, guy. John's a great guy. You know? No, John Trudeau um, is our brewmaster, and um, he's really good. He's been brewing, actually brewing in his garage for like ten years with turkey fryers. Wow. So when we really? brought him into a uh, to an actual brewery. It was kind of neat. And he's been brewing, like I said, you know, we, we do IPAs, but we do a lot of fruit. And, and some of our money from the breweries go to different things. Like we do, uh, some of the funding goes to Autism Awareness for First Responder Training. Mm-hmm. And that's something that's been near and dear that's to your I heart. Do, right? yeah. I, I travel across the United States doing that. And then uh, one of our other beers um, goes to uh, Fallen Firefighters. Yeah. So those are two dear causes to me. Exactly. So that works out well. But we have some great stuff. We have a lot of fruit beers. Like right now we have a spiced pumpkin beer coming. See, I like that kind of <laughs> yeah. stuff. And I don't know if that's maybe more women, like women like those types you of stuff. You know fruit. what? It is, you know, women do like it, but we also find that there's, in this area, there's a lot of people, you know, that drink Budweiser or Miller. Sure. You know, they think their idea of craft beer might be Blue Moon or <laughs> Samuel Adams. Right. So to take them from here to some triple hop beer you know, like zombie dust, yeah, or something like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It's, too much, it's yeah, quite too much. So it's a nice little transition, accessible. But you yeah, know, another nice thing about Border Town Pub, you know, in the in the brewery, is we're not just a brewery. We, right. we are a full fledged restaurant. We've been around for fifteen years. You know, we, we pride ourselves on on what we do. Our meats come, you know, right from Southside Meats. You know, mm-hmm. we make and that's fresh. that's great, right? It's just yeah. nice to be able to. Or that's the way it should be. You have a local butcher, and you're you, you're 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 cert- getting your meat from there. Right. I mean, that's just wonderful. We, we have a we have a half pound burger, and I mean, it's a half pound. Yeah, yeah. Pound yeah. And, and we pride ourselves. Another thing is, we try to keep our prices affordable. Mm-hmm. You know, right. um, you know, when you look at food costs and where they should be, you know, we, we have this big, gigantic half-pound burger. You know, we're under nine bucks. Yeah. You know, and that, that's I think that's cheap. We're actually under eight, I believe. We're like seven-something for a wow. half-pound burger. Yeah. So that's extremely affordable. You know, we cut our own fries. They're hand-cut fries. And, and so I think we're a full-service bar. We do have an amazing dining room because a lot of people say, well, you know, it's a pub. We really don't want to go into a bar. But we have the Firehouse 28 Cafe. And what that is, it has its own entrance right off of Dixie Highway. You know, as me being a firefighter, if you guys haven't figured that out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we, um, we have my collection. It's just a massive collection of fire stuff. Is literally from top to floor to ceiling everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you can go in and really kind of look at all the fire memorabilia and eat in a family dining setting. It's, it rem- you know, it's like one of those things when, you, you know, my kids were, when they were little boys, they really liked that kind of, like, that's so cool. I would think that. Kids we would yes. kids, yeah, have a lot of kids that probably come One in. One thing and, that we, we've done that we hadn't done in the past, we've extended, extended our dining room hours. Okay. You know, we used to close the dining room fairly early and keep the pub open, but people are going, you know, if we're going to come out at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock with our family, we definitely don't want to be in the pub. So now we on uh, Fridays and Saturdays we keep the dining room open until 9 o'clock at night. It's a good that's, idea. That's a great yeah. idea. And the dining room stays open until 7, Monday through Thursday. And on Sundays we only stay open until 6, but... That's still later than a lot of places do in moments. So you're in a, and you're in a great historical building. Love it. Yes, my well, there's two buildings. Yeah. One building uh, was built in um, the pub itself was early 1900s, and then the building next door, which is we've you know took over and put the dining room and everything in, and the brewery uh, was built in about 1890. So, so wow. cool. That's like most of the buildings in moments. I mean, everything back then was built either late 1800s or you know the early 1900s. Yeah. You know, we acquired the theater next door. 
that was built in 1924. You know, and the Moments Theater friends are working actively to restore that and bring that back as part of the uh, the downtown uh, mm-hmm. historic district in Moments. Some cool stuff happening in Moments, and of course, Border Town Pub. I went out with a a friend to Border Town Pub the other day. Okay, uh, it was a couple, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and somebody who hadn't been there before, and we just got done with the meeting. And said, oh, "Hey, come come with me. We're gonna we haven't eaten yet. Let's go get something." And like, wait, how did you know about this place? Like, come on, I know we know about these places. This is, <laughs> but it, it makes you feel like even when if you're not from Moments, when you can go through Moments and say, "Hey, check this out. This is my this is our spot. like this is a local spot." But you, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, you're it's not. I say it's Kinky's best little kept secret. Yeah, yeah. you know, and nobody. And when I say we don't, you have a brewery. A brewery. I mean, Brickstone. No, I don't. It's yeah. you know, which is I love those guys. They're great people. Right. But we are the second brewery right now. Yeah. I know there's some more coming up, and I'd really love to see even more because I think once we get a lot of breweries, we'll become a destination place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, we are. I'm sure we are the smallest licensed brewery in the state of Illinois. I am pretty sure that that we, we have that tag. <laughs> so wow. <laughs> Very That's so cool. cute. I love it. I bet you should be on the sign somewhere. The smallest license, but yes. But we are, you know what? Yeah. But people have tried our beer, have compared it to any of the breweries. You know, guys have come from Chicago. We've had guys come from Michigan, Wisconsin. Guys and women, both, have come and said, you know, we saw you on Untapped or, or one of those things. Yeah. that come out and said, you know what? Your beer is just as good as any brewery we've ever been to. So Wonderful. that makes me proud, and it definitely makes my brewmaster, John Trudeau, proud. Cool. <laughs> very, cool. very good. Give us your address. Uh, we're 22 to 28 North Dixie Highway. The pub's at 22. The um, the Firehouse 28 Cafe is at 28 North Dixie Highway. We're right downtown. You can't miss it. Just look for the big red awning <laughs> with the fire scramble on it. You mm-hmm. can't miss the place. So can you give us any clue on the next beers that are coming up? Well, as we said, we have the pumpkin spice. Pumpkin coming. spice. And we did this a little different. You know, we've checked, I've checked out some pumpkin beers where they just use the pumpkin. Well, John decided, you know what, you, we want, if you want a pumpkin, it should taste like pumpkin, right? Like yeah. the pumpkin pie. So yeah. when he was brewing, it was kind of amazing because you walked in like, what are we making pumpkin pie in here? But he made a pumpkin spice beer, which will taste basically more like pumpkin pie than just using pumpkin. Okay. Which is kind of neat. And that's kind of like in, like with the not your father's right. root beer, kind right. of that sort of taste where it's like, am I drinking beer? I or don't know. Not. We got you a know. watermelon ale coming out, Ooh. you know, which is kind of neat. It's called a, a revolving 343 wheat. Okay. And that that's the money that goes to the fallen firefighters, 343 firefighters that died, uh, you yeah. know, in 911, which is actually coming up yeah. very soon. Um, so that that's what we do. And yeah. Um, the only other thing we've been doing, which is kind of neat, where you're using local hops. Oh, cool. We finally found a connection. They're called uh, Drunken Bunny. That's the name of their little farm. And yeah. they create hops locally. So we have a couple of Drunken Bunny ale and that one other ones great. coming out. I don't know where they came up with the what name. What a cute name. But we are using a local hops, which I think is really neat because as you were talking about using the local butcher for our meats, yeah. now we're also using uh, local vendors for our hops too. So, And we're getting some of our vegetables from the local um, uh, in, in town, the... Um, uh, farmers market. Farmers so market. We really yeah. try to to keep it local as we can. And you know can. that's the way they used to do it years ago. They really would source these things more <laughs> lo- more locally. Yeah, because we had to do you it. You had to. And and <laughs> then we choice. started like, oh, you're getting stuff from far away. And now you're trying to get back to that. And it really does make more sense if you can make it work. And and I think it makes local people feel like their money is being spent in the community and kind of staying in the community. Because it is a good feeling. Yeah, it is. You know, it's um. You know, it's tough for a small business. You know, we see a lot of the newer chains coming in and the big boxes coming in. And, it, you know, those are people are familiar with those, so they gravitate to them. So it's, it's tough as a smaller business, a smaller restaurant, to, to convince people that, you know, you're doing the same thing, probably even a little bit better quality with a lot better price. You know, our pricing, when you compare it to the big boxes, I mean, we're a lot more affordable. Mm-hmm. One thing, if you got one second, our breakfast. Sure. Yeah. We do oh, this breakfast. Yeah. It's a four dollar breakfast. You can't beat it. You can either get I have eggs, not had big, this yet, but yeah, I don't know a, how you do a four dollar. It's a limit. It's a very limited menu, but you know what? It, there's um, it's either pancakes, Belgian waffles, uh, eggs, sausage, bacon. I mean, you can't beat it for four bucks, and for like nine bucks, we have a half pound ribeye with eggs. Whoa! So you know, you. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking one of them little breakfast strip steaks. <laughs> we're talking a half pound ribeye. And our breakfast hours, we open up at eight o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. We serve till noon on Sunday, eleven on Saturday, and then during the week, we open up at nine o'clock. So we're not open real early. We don't get that kind of crowd. But we're open from nine to eleven for breakfast during the week. So if you want a quick breakfast, um, you know, maybe after church or just you're hungry and don't have a lot of money to spend, we're a lot cheaper than uh, <laughs> yeah, the arches all. and a lot better quality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. And you can actually sit down and, ha- you sit know, down and family. enjoy, enjoy with your family, enjoy the fire theme and, and really enjoy, uh, enjoy uh, what's going on. So 
Very good. John Sokol. Keep up the good work, John. We'll do. We keep yeah. up. <laughs> we'll have to come out and see you soon in yes, Moments. Will. And uh, if you haven't been, really, go check it out. Bring friends. And, uh, hey, discover your new spot. Very good. John Sokol, thanks so much. Thank you for having me again. It is uh, 736, and uh, we'll be right back with more of the WKN Morning Show after this. You're sick? You have your doctor's prescription, but there is a two-hour wait at the chain pharmacy? Where do you go? Riverview Pharmacy. At Riverview Pharmacy, we welcome you with a smile and we'll have your prescription ready fast, usually within 10 minutes. Two hours is a long time to wait when you're sick or in pain.